Hey everyone, let's open up a Diamond Art Club, shall we? It has been a minute since uh, we have unboxed a Diamond Art Club on here. And it's actually been a minute since I've really bought anything. Um, I think the last Diamond Art Clubs I showed you guys were those two little snacks I got off Amazon. But anyway, this one was re released a couple weeks ago. And I'm really, really excited about it because it's one of my favorite uh, subjects, let's say. And this is a Medusa from Chrisabug. Um, this is a 55.8 by 85.9 square, a diamond painting, you guys. So she is on the big side, but I couldn't pass her up. I mean, it's Medusa, right? So let's get into it. Um, if you're new and you've never seen a Diamond Art Club box before, this is square kit. And you know it's a square because we have the blue symbol. It says square. It's the shape of the square. Beautiful uh, iridescent kind of box right here. Nice and sturdy. So let's get into it and see what it looks like. So we have our canvas right here. I'm going to put the box right down here. Here is our small sticker. It is perfect for logbooks, the side of your box, and anything else your heart desires. Um, I use both stickers in my logbook. Here is our toolkit. Now, a round and a square toolkit are exactly the same as far as content, except a square one will have a set of branded Diamond Art Club tweezers, whereas the round quit. The round kit does not. These are very sharp, so please keep that plastic sheath on there. What else do we get? Now, the contents will be the same in my kit as yours, but the colors may vary. So everyone will get a tray with a spout. You will get a skinny four and seven placer. You will get a squishy and pen. Mine just happened to be blue. I got a cute little clear glitter shell cover minder. And what this is, is it's adorable and it's got two magnets, magnets and this helps hold your plastic back. You will get a pot, heart-shaped pot full of two pieces of wax, a bag of baggies, and last but not least, you will get a nice roll of washi tape. And this looks like some flowers right here. Very, very pretty. So very, very nice upgraded toolkit, everything you need and more to a diamond paint. So I'm gonna just stick these back in here to keep them safe and sound while we get into our actual kit. So your kit right here will come in a dust bag. Diamond Art Club do it makes you sparkle. It helps protect your canvas from hair, dirt, dust, what have you, until you are ready to diamond paint. We have our plush canvas from Diamond Art Club. It is made of a tarpaulin material. It helps lay your canvas, helps your canvas lay flatter more quickly. It's luxurious and um, it helps hold the color. So even if you don't work on it for a while, your color will not fade. Here you get a thank you pamphlet from Angie, the founder right here. You will get um, a code, some tips and tricks, what's included in your kit. QR codes for videos, the VIP Facebook group, and last but not least, the two QR codes, one for Droid, one for iPhone, for the Diamond Art Club app. Love the app, and if you are new to purchasing on the app, you will get 20% um, off your first time purchase. Here is our big old fat bag of drills right here. It is labeled Medusa in case you store your drills from your kit separately. It's like amazing colors going on right here. So I'm excited. So right here, we have two sticker sheets. I don't think I have very many, if any, that have, I think I may have one or two that have two sticker sheets. It's gonna kill me to waste one of these stickers, but you have the name of the piece, the artist, your start end date, and then of course the size again. And this has 69 colors, you guys. 69, it looks like we have 2AB, which stands for Aurora Borealis, super shiny coating on your drill. Looks like we have a 115 and white, the 141. And look at, isn't she stunning? 
absolutely gorgeous. And then it looks like we have one, two, three fairy dust diamonds here. And those have like a mica glitter on them. So, ooh, I am loving the fact, minus the two, that everything else, oh, and the six, we have a lot of numbers, so I do really like that. But it will be a combination of alphanumeric and symbols. And then you get all these extra labels, save those. They come in very, very handy. So are we ready to look at Medusa in all her glory? Because I definitely am. Oh, wow. Look at her. What do you guys think? Now, I probably should have rolled her back, but I'm going to pull back on this real quick. This is the plastic cover. It is a little thicker this time, but it does come with the perforated edges to make sectioning off your canvas easier if that's what you choose to do. Now, you do not have to use the size sections that they have already out. You can make them larger if you want, but it just helps with managing your kit. I know I section off my paintings because if not, I would become completely overwhelmed without zero direction. So I'm just gonna pull it back up here so that way it will lay a little flatter. So sorry for the crinkling. This looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty, pretty epic right here. All right, so at the top we have Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club, and then in the upper left you will have a legend, and down here in the lower right we have a legend. You will also get a thumbnail with the name of the piece showing it's legally licensed uh, by the artist Chrisabug, and then the sizes again. You have um, their socials down here as well as a code, and then last but not least their lifetime warranty. So let's kind of bring this up if I can so you guys can see the clarity of the symbols. Sorry for the glare. Always have clear symbols with Diamond Art Club. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah, be careful. My drills just got under that plastic. All right. So what do we have going on in this image? So, of course, we have Medusa. We have her snakes with her hair. We have her pet snake back here. She's sitting on a throne, and then right down here, we have a helmet and a sword. Looks like this is what's left of her victims right here. Let me see if I can see anything else on the... Nope, that's what it is um, in the picture as well. It looks to me like there is a nice combination of confetti and color blocking. Uh, confetti is where um, you would have a... Let's find a good spot. Smaller sections where you're changing the colors more often, whereas with color blocking, you have larger sections. Looks like there's a lot of line blocking as well. Um, the back, This background also looks like it's going to be like textured, so to speak. It's not going to be a solid color, so it's really going to kind of give the picture some depth. I really do like this highlighting around here, and it looks like that is gonna be a fairy dust diamond. It is like yellow, kind of make like a glowing off of her. And there are a B, red ABs in her eyes and the snake. I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I'm just calling them as we go. So what does everybody think? Did anybody else get this, this painting right here? Um, I love this. I don't think that I'm going to get to it this year, but it's definitely going to find a home in my stash. Um, but it's absolutely uh, beautiful. I love her skin. So I don't know if that's going to come off more gray or green or a combination of both. So that'll be fun to see. I'm loving the purple in her gown and the way her leg is with it angled and then her foot, her foot right here. So, who is ready to see these drills? Now, I'm going to call them out, but um, not every single color, because we do have quite a few colors to go through. But I do want to show them to you. Sorry for the crinkling. Alrighty. So now, Diamond Art Club does not go by DMC. They go by weight, in case you are new. 
So we'll start off with this small train right here. We're gonna start off with 318. And there we have our first fairy dust. That really, really pretty yellow right here. And I'm not quite sure if the camera's gonna pick up the glitter or not. 6033 and then 779. So next, are, we have a little our little itty bitty colors. 740. 3787. Here's our first AB. Just a little splash of 115 right there. 3818. Another yellow. Some more pinks. 840. 890. 948. 3859. Uh, I like that. 926 and then 3816. So that is our second train of drills. Moving on to the third. We're starting off with the 3866. 327. Here's our second AB. We have a little bit of 141 here. So not a ton of ABs, but that's okay. This is more dark and mysterious. However, you are more than welcome to use as many ABs or special drills as you would like. This is your own masterpiece. 452. 561. Here is our second fairy dust. So we have a little bit darker yellow right here. Lots of these grayish greens. I like that. Three, seven, seven, two, three, 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 zero, four, two, and eight, thirty-nine. So there's our second one. Our third train of drills, starting off with six, zero, two, one. Now, if you start seeing DMC codes starting with sixes, those are new DMCs that are exclusive to Diamond Art Club that they have made. 3024. 3371. More of these greens in here. 844. 414. 791. 317. We have one, two bags of 550. We have a big bag of our last fairy dust, uh, 3837. And that you can really, really see on there. It's going to be beautiful. And then 336. Now, uh, oh, here's our last train of drills, my friends. It looks like we have one, two, three bags of 336. We have 924, 413, and then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 bags of 823, 1, 2 bags of 310, 3860, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bags of 939. So we have a lot of different darker colors. It's going to give it texture and depth and not look like one solid black background. So I'm going to put all this stuff away and then we're going to try and find the rest of our special drills. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got that. Not bad, right? Not great, but not bad at all. So let's flip this beauty back over and let's try and see. I'm going to zoom in and hopefully we can see. Now we found the red. So right here, so where we see a little bit of red, that's where that red AB is gonna go. There's just a little bit of it. Now the white, wherever you see these dots right here, all down here, that is where that white AB is gonna go. So now we're looking for a lowercase a, which is highlighting around here and and then we have like an arrow and that's highlighting the snake and going down the sword we have a little a's and arrows right around here so wherever you see like a yellowish outline that is going to be the two yellow fairy dust diamonds and last but not least is the v now wherever you see this light purple in here not that that's too light this lighter purple 
right in here and then down her sash right here. That is where that purple fairy dust is gonna go. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful. So what do you guys think of Medusa? Are you a fan of Chrissa Bug's paintings? I do have quite a few from her. Um, her art definitely grew on me. Um, and I can't pass it up when she's doing some of my favorite subject matter, my char the characters that I love. So let me know, you guys. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Um, like, comment, and share. I love interacting and hearing your guys' thoughts and feedback. It really helps me out. So, yeah, you guys, that's it. This is Medusa from Chrisabug. So... Other than that, I have nothing else and I'm going to get out of your hair. So until next time, my friends, remember to be safe and be kind. Bye.